Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9to5toys, and today we are checking out the WD Black SN750SE Battlefield 2042 Limited Edition SSD Drive, and then also taking a first look at some first impressions of the Battlefield 2042 Open Beta. Now, we've covered a few portable drives from WD Black in the past, but today we do have this Limited Edition Battlefield 2042 NVMe SSD. And so not only are you getting some really fast storage, but you're also getting a PC download code for the full game. And considering that the 500 gigabyte version comes in at $90, with obviously has that really fast storage as well as the download code for a $60 game. Uh, that's a pretty good deal. So let's dive in and check it out. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. So like we mentioned, prices for this are starting at $90, which is just $15 more than the standard version of this. So for that $15, you are getting a $60 game added onto your, you know, super fast NVMe SSD drive as well. Now the version that we have here is the one terabyte version. So the standard uh, non-Battlefield version comes in at $130, and the Battlefield 2042 version is going to come in at $160. So still for $30 extra dollars, you're getting that $60 game as well. And I'm not going to go over how to install this drive. There are plenty of videos out there on how to install a M.2 drive, uh, but we are going to talk a little bit about the performance specs. So as a Gen 4 PCIe NVMe SSD, the WD Black SN750SE can reach speeds up to 3600 megabytes per second, and it definitely hit those marks in my testing. Using Crystal Disk Mark, I actually saw speeds up to 3627 megabytes per second read, with a lower but still impressive 2913 megabytes per second write. And while that's not the fastest drive that WD Black offers, that is really impressive and is very fast. And so that's going to help to make load times a little bit faster as well. But if you do have that need for speed, then you need to check out one of WD Black's other drives, the SN850. Coming in 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, and two terabyte capacities, this drive can be spec'd out with or without a heatsink for desktop PCs as well as PS5 systems. And that can reach speeds up to 7,000 megabytes per second read and 5,300 megabytes per second write. And then also included in the box with the drive is this little pamphlet with a redemption code for Battlefield 2042 with some really simple instructions to use that code. And with that code, uh, I was able to get the game and which also got me into the early access of the open beta, which is going on right now. I think the normal open beta is going to be going on this weekend. So if you're interested in checking out Battlefield 2042, definitely do it. I highly recommend it. And so let's move into some first impressions of playing Battlefield 2042. There's been a lot of hype built up about this game and I've been pretty excited to test it out myself. I really loved Battlefield 3 and 4, but I didn't have the same connection to Battlefield 1 or 5, so getting back into a more modern setting was very appealing to me. My first game was mostly spent dialing in settings and trying to figure out the new game and controls, but once I had things dialed in, it really started to feel more like the Battlefield experience that I was used to. My Nvidia performance overlay was saying between 60 to 90 FPS in most situations, but for some reason, it felt a little bit lower than that. But the game does load extremely quickly thanks to that WD Black SN750 SE drive. And while the beta can feel a little bit glitchy and laggy at times, I was still having a blast. I enjoy the modern weaponry gameplay much more than the historic time periods. Swapping between scopes and attachments at any time lends itself to some interesting gameplay. As I'm approaching an objective, I can put on a longer range scope to check out the defenses, but then swap to a red dot when I get closer for CQB gameplay. I still loathe tanks and helicopters, but I really enjoy the ground war with multiple soldiers engaging each other on foot. And as buildings and vehicles come crashing down all around you, it really provides that exciting and sometimes chaotic gameplay that battle field is known for. So overall, just wrapping up here, I mean, if you are looking to upgrade your storage in the form of an M.2 drive, and you're planning on probably getting Battlefield 2042 anyways, this really feels like a no-brainer. With the 500 gigabyte version of this drive, you're basically getting the game for just $15, you know, $90 over the $75 uh, normal price for the SN750 SE. And me personally, I am having a blast with the open beta, and I'm really excited to see the final release and the new tweaks and the new maps in there as well. It's just providing a very fun, familiar Battlefield experience for me. All right, and that'll do it for our quick hands-on look with this SSD drive and the Battlefield 2042 open beta. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5toys. to